talked about simplifying radicals, right? Today we're going to talk about adding and subtracting adding radicals. Adding plus subtracting? Uh-huh. Yes, adding uh, plus subtracting uh, radicals, right? And um, a key concept to understand with this is you must, M U S T, you must have like terms in order to add radicals. Okay? You must have like terms. So, like terms, just with a, if, we're, if we're not talking radicals, if we're just talking variables, if I said 2x plus 9x is equal to what? Are these like terms? Yeah, that's equal to 11x. It, it, yeah, it's 11x. Basically, this means I have two x's, x plus x. Not very likely. And then I have wrong. somebody gives me nine more x's, x plus 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 x. Maybe. Um, and and it all, <laughs> so totally, total I have 11x's. The same thing is true with radicals. The thing is, you have a coefficient, and you have the radical thing that's un the, the thing that's under the radical sign, right? The radical, the thing under the radical sign has to be exactly the same in order to add oh, the coefficients. Yeah. So if I said two square root of five plus nine square root of five, that would equal. I have two oh, square root of five. Root of I have five. square root of five square root plus square root of five plus square root of 5 plus square root of 5 plus square root of 5 nine times, right? And then I get 11 square root of 5. It's totally okay to add the coefficients yeah. as long as the radical sign, what's underneath the radical sign, is the same number, right? Does it glare? Do you have a glare? No, I just get some weird Oh, sorry. <laughs> right? So, um... Harsh. I'm very grateful. Yes, it's hard to have such an amazingly huge brain. <laughs> um, um, Gary, you're a wizard. Okay. You don't need to fight. All right. So, so that makes sense, right? It makes sense. Same thing with subtraction. Let's say I have, um, you know, eight square root of two minus three square root of two. What would be my answer? Five square root of two. Five square root. Right. Five square root of two. Okay, so this was our first example. Oh Here's my our second. God, Gary, this is easy. Right, it's very easy. Now, what if, what if I said this? Um, um, three square root of 7a plus two square root of 8a minus uh, square root of 7a. Gary, well, it's so hard now. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, so Bella. Okay, so you have to do the um, order of operations, <coughs> which is adding and then subtracting. But um, three plus two equals five, so it's the five. Well, the wait a minute. You so can't I add coefficients eight, unless eight. the number oh, underneath the radical wait, wait, wait. sign. So okay, so seven plus wait, seven plus eight, which would be minus seven, wait. would be. You can't. Minus. I'm not adding. I'm not saying that this is. 11 square root of 10. I'm not adding these. These, these numbers right. stay the same. Okay, then right. it would be. So the where the are my like terms? Oh, right here and here are my like terms. Two square root a. See, it's too complicated. Oh, wait. What's the number in front of here? One. There's a hidden one in here. So do you guys agree with me? These, these are like terms, right? Do you guys agree with me? Yeah. What? No. Yes. These two. I have a seven square root of 7a, and I have a square root of 7a, right? Those are like terms. This is not a like term. Square root of 8a, totally not a like term, right? So therefore, I can say three, I have three square root of 7a's, right? And somebody just took one of them away. Oh, how would they, why would they do that to you? I don't know. Now it only gives me two square root of 7a's, so that's my answer. Two square root of 7a's, plus this mass, 2 square root of 8a, right? That's my answer. And Gary, it's I just like added the coefficients. In this case, I subtracted the coefficients of the like terms, and I just had to write this one afterwards. So right? is there a way, like, if you could magically, is there a way to magically throw 
turn eight into a seven or seven into an eight? No. Okay. Why okay. Harry Potter. Hermione. 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 Hermione.
is not negative 2, because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Or it's not positive 2, because 2 times 2 is positive 4. So the square root of negative 4 doesn't have a real answer. Oh my gosh, this okay. sounds like fun. What? Can you speak English? There in, 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 al in Algebra 2, they actually talk about, there's actually a whole series of numbers called imaginary numbers. And you will actually, you will learn imaginary numbers. Like 11 That's That's a lot simpler to put it. Well, like the answer, th this is what you'll learn in Algebra 2. The square root of negative 4 is the same as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. Do you agree with me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so in Algebra. No, because you can't. Can't be a negative. We'll wait, we'll wait. But square root of 4 times square root of negative 1 is square root of negative 4, definitely, right? Okay. Now, now in, in, in Algebra 2, you will learn that a little lowercase i stands for imaginary number. And, and they've actually given the value of an i to be the square root of negative 1. We don't know what the heck square root of negative 1 is because we can't figure it out. But we know it's an i. Four times so one, er, so I. the yeah, answer geez. to the square this root of negative 4 is 2i. Yay! Right? Oh my that's, how, that's what you'll do in Algebra 2. But we're not going to go there this year. But um, the reason they do that is there are times when you can, you can hit a roadblock, like a square root of a negative number. But there is often or sometimes a way to move beyond that roadblock if you just treat it as a variable, sort of like that. And then suddenly, you can eventually, you can maybe cross those out, and then you have an answer, where normally you would just hit that roadblock and you'd say, oh, I can't go any further. So it just gives us a way to move beyond the problem. Remember what I was talking about, you know, this morning about the, how many fingers do I have? <coughs> Algebra two yeah. folks realized, instead of focusing on the square root of negative one, Let's look beyond it, and we'll see perhaps more in our reality, right? And we'll find some pretty cool stuff. So, um, so a lot of them are going to be like this. Let's do one more like this. One more like this, and then we're done. But it's time to go. All right, really fast. Square root of eight plus uh, square root of thirty-two. All right, I know the square root of 8 is 4 times 2, don't you? And this, okay, so <coughs> that's going to come out as a 2, so it's 2 square root of 2. I know the square root of 32 is the square root of 16 times 2. So that's going to come out two. as a 4, right? Plus 4 square root of 2. Six so my final answer is 6 square root of 2. Okay. Pretty easy, really. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Not as fun as just doing them alone, but we're still kind of fun. All right, that's good. That's okay, good. Yeah.